When it comes to home charging, it can get overwhelming pretty quickly with all the different options to choose from, and especially considering technical specifications and other features. Autel has been making automotive diagnostic products since 2004, and now they're starting to get into the charging game. They sent me this 40 amp maxi charger home station. Let's unbox it, then review it. You can purchase the Maxi Charger on the Autel Energy website or via Amazon. They offer free shipping and this device is covered with a three year warranty. All right, this was the box that was inside the shipping box. So let's unbox this. Keep in mind when you purchase a home charger, you may qualify for federal or local incentives. Autel makes it easy for you to find out what those incentives are by plugging in your zip code on their website. This is very tightly packed, which is really good because that means these things aren't gonna shift around in here. Currently, there's a federal tax credit of up to $1,000 for installation and 30% of the station cost via IRS Form 8911. All right, in this box, I have the user manual and two other boxes, along with some screws and tools in order to mount this. Let's open some of these smaller boxes first. This first box is the holster for the connector. Now what's great about this charger is that you can opt for a few different configurations here. So you can get the separate holster if you want, or you can get the device that has the holster built into it. The housing on this holster is made out of plastic, so it's gonna be weatherproof. It also has this lip that rises up and above so that you can wrap the cable in an organized fashion and it doesn't slip off. The interior of this holster right here is actually made of metal, and this is pretty heavy, so it feels really high quality, but it also articulates, which is gonna allow me to plug it in at any approach angle and still be nice and easy. There's also this green ring around the connector holster. I think the intent here is that it'll have great visibility even in low light situations when you go to put the connector back on the holster. The back of the holster is also made of metal for the bracket, and it came with this mounting bracket to put on the wall, as well as these long anchors. All right, now on to box two. This here is the wall mount for the maxi charger. All right, let's unwrap this charger. Well, first impressions, I can say that I really like the aesthetic. It's a very premium feel and it's a sleek design. Now, sometimes chargers can feel like toys or kind of cheap because they are made out of a plastic material and they don't necessarily fit with every house design, but I think this one is one that would fit really well even in a super modern home. This exterior finish is made out of polycarbonate, so it's gonna be weatherproof and this charger is actually rated as a NEMA 4, and that means essentially that it's gonna be protected from rain and dust and all kinds of weather, but especially blowing precipitation. So this is gonna stay dry inside and keep you safe. Now the pigtail here is 11.8 inches. You can opt for a NEMA 1450 or a 650 connector. You can also hardwire it if you wanted to, and keep in mind that they also offer a 50 amp charger that you can hardwire as well. And you can see on the bottom of the charger, there is an extra port here and that's for ethernet connection. This has Wi-Fi capability, Bluetooth capability, and of course an ethernet port to be able to plug in. But keep in mind, you can also use this charger when it's not connected to the internet. All right, now let's check out this connector. Now, it may seem that all J1772s are created equally, but already off the bat, this feels nice and heavy and the materials quality is really nice. It has like a rubberized texture to it and feels really premium, which is kind of surprising to say because the price point on this charger is $559. The Maxi Charger Home Station has a screen on the front of it, but it's disabled on the Home Station version of this device. 
The icons will light up and I'll show you that during the review, but screen operations are only visible on the commercial version of the charging station, along with the SIM card slot for processing payments. The device dimensions are 13 inches tall, 7 inches wide, and 3 inches deep. It weighs between 13 and 16 pounds depending on the holster configuration you choose. Alternatively, if you wanted to wrap the cable around the device, you could do that too because there is a lip here on the charger. This here is a 25 foot cable and I really like a long cable because no matter how my EV is parked or if I have two EVs, I can still reach the charging port. There's a QR code here and that might be what you use in order to bind the device with the app. We'll find out soon. As far as the installation guide goes, this is very thorough. One thing that I've noticed in here that is a great feature is that you can customize what you want the amperage output to be. Autel provides a Starbit Allen wrench to be able to unscrew the front cover and plate behind it to access the interior of the charging station. From here, you can rotate the white dial to set the limit of the amperage output. Though you can limit amperage output in the app as well, this is a foolproof way to prevent anyone from accidentally adjusting it to a level that is more than your property specifications or preferences. This installation guide has very clear diagrams in here, and not only does it show you how to mount the device, but also how to wire it, which is surprisingly not too common. On the very last page of the installation guide, there are a few QR codes. One is to direct you to download the app, and the other one is to access the manuals. Now the one that's most important is the one in the top right corner because you're gonna use that to bind the charger to the app. Well, I've seen and dealt with a lot of different home chargers and I haven't seen this before. I really appreciate that Autel has included this sticker sheet. Now what's going on here is there's one side of stickers that you can place on the charger to let people know what the configuration of the charger is. And then there's this side of stickers that allows you to put a sticker in the breaker box. So at an easy glance, you can tell what this charger is set at, whether it's a 20 amp, a 30 amp, a 40 amp, all the way down to a 70 amp. All right, let's go find an interesting place to plug this into a NEMA 1450 receptacle and test it out. I have the Autel Maxi charger plugged into a NEMA 1450 receptacle, and I've taken it straight out of the box and plugged it in. So one thing I wanna show you is that it'll work just like this without any kind of configuration. Something to note is that I own a Tesla and the port looks a little bit different than every other EV on the market in the United States. But my vehicle came with this here. This is an adapter for a J1772 connector. I'm gonna attach this first. All right, it looks like this light here is blinking. You'll see that there are a series of icons on the bottom of the charger and they illuminate depending on what's going on, of course. The first icon shows there's power to the station. The second indicates internet connectivity. Then we have a charging status icon. Next, a Bluetooth connectivity icon. And finally, an icon for the RFID card sensor. All right, let's take a look inside and see how this charge is coming along. As I mentioned before, this is a 40 amp charger and it looks like I'm pulling all 40 amps. Now, based on the efficiency of my car, it says I'm getting 37 miles added per hour that I have this plugged in. Let's talk about the Autel Maxi Chargers app. After downloading the Autel Charge app and signing up for an account, I scan the barcode in the back of the user manual to connect the device with the app. To finish connecting after powering up the station, I clicked on the message alert that popped up on the top of the My Charger tab, initiating the Bluetooth pairing process. After pairing with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi was up next. All right, it looks like I'm connected to Wi-Fi and I'm also connected to Bluetooth. So I should have more options configuring this device. By clicking on max charge current, I can select the maximum amperage I want the device to deliver to my vehicle. This ranges from 6 to 40 amps on this particular unit. Under max charge current, there are a series of buttons allowing you to initiate the charge or schedule it. 
You can select to have the Maxi Charger auto start the charge when plugging in, or require an RFID card to be scanned. The device can support up to five charge cards. All right, so under this My Cards portion of the menu, all you have to do is click this plus button and you can add an RFID card to your charger. And easily enough, you can just scan it right here. If you need extra light, there's even a button to turn on a flashlight. Something to note is that you do need to buy those RFID cards from Autel separately. And they have a specific code on them that will tie them to this charger. Scheduling a charge is easy and already set up to have different weekday versus weekend times if you'd like. You can also view previous charge history in this app and it provides quite a bit more data than other apps I've experienced. As you can see, you'll be able to determine how much money you've spent, how many kilowatt hours you've added, and the duration of charging. This is a really great user interface. The Maxi Charger also has over-the-air firmware updates. Well, it looks like my device had a firmware update, so you can either select to push the update to the device on your own, or as you can see on the very top, you can have it automatically update. Let's see how long this takes. And the power button is now green again. The Wi-Fi is connected again and the Bluetooth is also connected again. It looks like everything's up to date. That only took seven minutes. That's impressive. This is really great to have built into the app. So if you have any common frequently asked questions, you can find a lot of the troubleshooting right here in the FAQs tab. There are a lot of troubleshooting topics here at your fingertips, but if you need extra help, there is a more immediate support system available. Wow, this is really great. You have a live chat support here right in the app. So if you have any issues, you can contact them right away. You can also send attachments. Wow, look at all the different languages they offer. As you can see, the Autel Maxi Charger can be set up to be used in many different countries. It also has a long list of broader certifications and standards it meets. It is UL, CSA, and Energy Star certified. It is compatible with OpenADR 2.0B, aka Open Automated Demand Response. This is an open communication model between the utility and the charger, and it's the latest smart grid standard. It also has ALM, or Adaptive Load Management, so the device monitors the load at the property and adjusts as needed to evenly distribute it or allow full load volume to the charger when it's accessible. You can add your vehicle to the app to allow more data to be efficiently and accurately tracked. Now that the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are connected to the Maxi Charger, controls to initiate charging on the Charge tab are enabled. The system responds very quickly when the vehicle is plugged in. The dashboard on this tab provides real-time data about the charge, but also allows me to see power, current, and voltage ratings in a graph format. I'm very impressed with the interface and how easy it is to access and how digestible the information is. I can stop the charge by pressing the button on the screen inside my Tesla Model Y, or I can use the Tesla app but I'm gonna try stopping it through the Autel app. Very quick response. This cable is nice and flexible. When they're too rigid, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to keep them organized and wrap them up on the holster. By the way, if you're wondering what 25 feet of cable looks like, this reaches past the front of my vehicle. In summary, I really like the flexibility of this device because whether I want to have it open to the public for anyone to charge on, or I have the flexibility to block people from using it unless they have an RFID card or even app authentication. 
So that flexibility is really nice. The one small improvement I would like to see on the Autel Maxi Charger is integration with Amazon Alexa and or Google Assistant. So I could control the device with my smart home devices. Overall, this is an exceptional device, especially for the price point of $559. And I can definitely see myself using this on a daily basis personally. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.